I would now like to invite from America Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Al Nanawi to come and speak to us today. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa afdalu salati wa akmalu taslimi ala Sayyidina wa Habibina wa Shafi'ina wa Nuri Abasarina wa Basairina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. أما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. I'll start with a simple verse in the five minutes allotted to me, and let me take a couple of principles out of them. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن. The ayah is known to many of you. It's the this verse, the chapter that was revealed in مكة. Named Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman is a form of exaggerative speech to describe the one who is attributed with the most, the most compassion, but the, com the compassion that's not quantifiable, the Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala is attributed with com the compassionate or the most compassionate, not in a quantifiable way, but in a way to induce or ignite within us an understanding. What is that understanding? You all know the early Meccan atmospheres of revelation were that of violence. In fact, the Arabian Peninsula 1500 or 1400 years ago was locked in feuds and violence. They used to fight over petty things. Tribes were in wars. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emerged from that society that was locked in violence to call for non-violence coexistence. A voice that is emerging out of this sea of violence to tell them that violence is the language of inarticulate. And therefore, the first among the first thing that was revealed then, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, ar-Rahman, which means in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most compassionate, then ar-Rahman, the most compassionate, one more time. Ar-Rahman is one verse, one word. It means the most compassionate. Why would the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala, reveal to us a verse? Usually verses are few lines, but here you see a verse, one word the compassionate the message is clear number one we may be different colors different backgrounds but at the, at the end of the day we are one people in the mission statement that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil'alameen we have not sent you, the Creator is talking about the Prophet ﷺ, we have not sent you, i.e. to humanity or to the universe, except as a source of compassion to everything, to humans and non-humans, to plants and to the universe. This serves as the mission statement. In other words, and Nabi ﷺ emerged as the voice that's calling for self-criticism in a way that says if you're good to those who are good to you, then what good are you? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ar-Rahman. It's not about what others do. The Meccan society was very violent towards the early Muslims at that time. And oftentimes people also take the blame game. It's their fault. It's this, it's that. But the Quran came to insist that we only have our actions to worry about. It's not what about what other people do. What are you gonna do? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ar-Rahman. In those very intense violent atmospheres in Mecca, the Quran comes not to tell the, the early Muslims to, all right, fight back, stand back, but to give off, to offer back compassion to those very people who are doing you wrong. Yes, because again, if you're good to those who are good to you, then what good are you? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ar-Rahman. If I leave, if we all leave, if I leave you with this principle, 
the most compassionate. Because compassion is not only about talking, it's about internalizing. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not only was in internal mercy and a compassion, but I don't want to use mercy only because it's more compassion, there's more love, it's not pity. It's love, it's not only caring, have a, having a genuine care about the well-being of yourselves. Islam came to tell us, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to tell us that you ought to have a, you ought to actually not only demonstrate with lips, but with actions, a genuine care about the well-being of your society, the well-being of humanity, and the well-being of everything, animate and inanimate. Talking about mercy is easy. I always aspire for workshops on compassion. I see he's coming, so I'll end with this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ar-Rahman. One verse, one word. And we ought to contemplate why would the Creator reveals one verse, one word with so many profound things. It's summoning the whole creation to that concept of compassion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.